our our respected principal madam respected iqsc coordinator sir respected faculty members and dear students on behalf of the department of computer science i welcome you all in today's webinar organized by the students of the second semester of our department today they are going to show us uh, what kind of effect electric vehicle will have in our environment in the near future i'm very much sure that we'll be enriched with some valuable information after the completion of this webinar now i would welcome our honorable principal madam dr shoma bondopadhyay who has taken time out of her busy schedule to be present here with us to encourage our students madam i would like to invite you at this point to deliver an introductory address for this webinar thank you very good evening to all of you all the presenters of this session all my dear colleagues of computer science and other departments who have already joined uh, iqs coordinator uh, i have seen he has already joined uh, now it's really nice to see that the students of second semester who have really they have not uh, they have not seen our college physically they have not met us face to face but they are doing so well in this virtual platform it is really indeed a very a very much uh, important thing and it gives me a very uh, very much pleasure to see that our students they are not actually locked but they are working in their arena they are studying and doing their best so this kind of uh, webinars will also be of positive hope for us and i'm sure that uh, they will do their best and we will be enriched and the topic is also very much interesting as uh, we think that uh, electric vehicles will solve a lot of problems regarding fuel uh, consumption or that sort of but uh, we we will now have a upper hand opportunity to know what kind of effects it will there there may be some bad or what kind of effects in environment i'm sure that we will gather a lot of knowledge and this session will be a grand success thank you thank you madam thank you for your encouraging words now i would like to request our respected iqsc coordinator sir dr kuntal chattopadhyay to bless our students with some of his words sir thank you very much am i audible to you yes sir okay so it appears from the theme of this webinar session that we are going to have a very enchanting evening electric vehicles for the future so i am looking forward to the subject with very little knowledge about it but still hopeful that things will be coming up and all my blessings and all my good wishes to the students who are presenting today to all the teachers who are encouraging them and principal madam being there having introduced so we are all here hopefully looking forward to this virtual session let it be virtually absolutely wonderful thank you very much thank you very much sir for your wonderful words so now i would request our students to be ready for their presentation and if there is any question from the audience please ask the questions only after the presentation is over by unmuting yourself so now i would call devasmita so that you can start your presentation A very good evening to our respected principal ma'am, respected professors, and my dear friends. 
Welcome to today's webinar and the topic is electric vehicle. This webinar will be presented by the students of second semester of computer science department. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to introduce my teammates and myself to you. Hello, I'm Deboshmita Sen and today's speakers are Purnendu Tudu, Ashik Malik, Ranjo Nakhara, Rahul Pal, Sabri Nazad and myself. The other members of the team are Mohammad Arif, Shuman Nijal, Mohammad Faisal, Shorab Dash, Shujit Panda, and Rajesh Pal. So let us see how transportation evolved from horse carriages to electric vehicles. And are these electric vehicles really advantageous to us? Or is it creating more damage to our environment and society in the name of comfort? So what are electric vehicles? An electric vehicle is one that operates on an electric motor instead of an internal combustion engine that generates power by burning a mix of fuel and gases. Put simply, an electric car is a one powered by an electric motor rather than a traditional petrol or diesel engine. This electric motor is powered by essential batteries that can be charged by common household electricity. Electric vehicle first came into existence in the mid 19th century when electricity was among the preferred methods for motor vehicle propulsion, providing a level of comfort and ease of operation that could not be achieved by the gasoline car of the time. Modern internal combustion engines have been the dominant propulsion method for motor vehicles for almost 100 years. But electric power has remained commonplace in other vehicle types such as train and smaller vehicles of all types. The history of the electric car is much longer than you might think. In this webinar, we will take a recent stop tour of the evolution of the electric vehicles. Now, let's have a look over timeline of events faced by electric vehicle. First crude electric vehicle was developed around 1832. Robert Anderson develops the first crude electric vehicle, but it isn't until the 1870s or later that electric car became practical. Picture here is an electric vehicle built by an English inventor in 1884. During the period of 1889 to 1891, first electric vehicle debuts in the US. William Morrison from Des Moines creates the first successful electric vehicle in the US. His car is little more than an electrified wagon, but it sparks an interest in electric vehicle. In 1899, electric cars gained popularity. Compared to the gas and steam-powered automobiles at that time, electric cars are quite easy to drive and didn't emit smelly pollutants, quickly becoming popular with urban residents, especially women. Later, around in 1900 to 1912, electric cars reached their heyday. By the turn of the century, electric vehicles are all the rage in the U.S. Picture here is of Fifth Avenue in New York City around this time, showing the range of vehicle options available. After gaining its popularity in 1901, Thomas Edison takes on electric vehicle batteries. Many innovators take note of the electric car's high demand, exploring ways to improve that technology. For example, Thomas Edison thought electric vehicles were the superior mode of transportation and work to build a better battery. Next event, that changed the electric vehicle industry was in 1901, while first hybrid electric car was invented. Ferdinand Sporsi, founder of the sports car by the same name Sporsi, creates the Laurent Sporsi Mixte, the world's first hybrid electric car. The vehicle is powered by electricity stored in battery and a gas engine. Few years later, around 1908 to 1912, Model T builds a blow to electric vehicles. The mass-produced Model T makes gas-powered cars widely available and affordable in 1912. The electric startup is introduced, helping to increase gas-powered vehicle sales even more. Picture here is Henry Ford with first Model T and the 1 million. After this, there was a decline in electric vehicle during 1920 to 1935. Cause of better roads and discovery of cheap Texas could well help continue to the decline in electric vehicles. By 1935, they have all but disappeared. Picture here is one of the gasoline filling stations that pop up across the US. 
making gas readily available for rural Americans and leading to the rise in popularity of gas powered vehicles. Next, due to the increase in gas price, which created interest in electric vehicle again. In 1971, NASA's first manned vehicle drives on the moon. And guess what? This lunar rover runs on electricity, helping to raise the profile of electric vehicles. After gaining its popularity back again, 1973 was the time for the next generation electric vehicles. Many big and small automakers begin exploring options for alternative fuel vehicles and started developing prototype for an urban electric car. In 1996, EV1 gains a cult following. GM releases the EV1, an electric device that was designed and developed from the ground up. In 1997, Toyota introduced the first mass-produced hybrid, the Prius, and it became an instant success with celebrities increasing its profile. Next, in 2006, the game-changing company makes its move. Tesla Motors, a Silicon Valley startup, announces it will produce a luxury electric sports car with a range of 200 plus miles. 2009 to 2013 was the time when a nationwide charging infrastructure was developing. In US, the Energy Department invests in a nationwide charging infrastructure, installing 18,000 commercial and public chargers. Today, there are 8,000 public charging locations in US. 2010 was the time when the first commercially available plug-in hybrid was for sale. GM releases the Chevy Volt, making it the first commercially available plug-in hybrid. The Volt uses battery technology developed by the energy department. Again, in December 2010, Nissan launches the Leaf. It was an all-electric zero tailpipe emission car. In 2013, Nissan begins assembling the Leaf. After this, there was a drop in electric vehicle battery price. Battery cost dropped by 50% in just four years. By the year 2014, there was a multitude of choices for consumer when buying electric vehicles. Today, there are currently 23 plug-in electric vehicle and 36 hybrid model available. With electric vehicle, we could reduce our dependence on foreign oil by 30 to 60 percent while lowering the carbon pollution from the transportation sector by as much as 20 percent. Let us see the different power supply system provided to electric vehicles. Solar powered electric vehicles. Solar cars harnesses energy from the sun by converting it into electricity. This electricity fuels the battery that runs the car's motor. Instead of using a battery, some solar cars direct the power straight to an electric motor. Great examples of the latest solar-powered cars are the University of Michigan car, the MIT solar car, and the Berkeley solar car. Photovoltaic cells are the components in the solar panel that convert the solar energy to electricity. They are made up of semiconductors, usually silicon, that absorbs the light. The solar energy frees electrons in the semiconductor, creating a flow of electrons. That flow generates electricity that powers the battery and the specialized motor in the solar car. Their solar panel works silently so they don't add up to the noise pollution already on the road. Solar panels don't create greenhouse gases as gasoline engines do. Most importantly, solar energy is free, widely available, and grants the solar car driver complete independence from foreign oil. Solar cars combine technology found in aerospace, bicycle, alternative energy, and automotive industries.
Fuel cell vehicles Fuel cell vehicles have the potential to significantly reduce our dependence on foreign oil and lower harmful emissions that contribute to climate change. FCVs run on hydrogen gas rather than gasoline and emit no harmful tailpipe emissions. The fuel cell has the following constituents. The power control unit governs the flow of electricity. The electric motor propels the vehicle more quietly, smoothly and efficiently than an internal combustion engine and requires less maintenance. The fuel cell stack converts hydrogen gas and oxygen into electricity to power the electric motor. The high output battery stores energy generated from regenerative braking and provides supplemental power to the electric motor. The hydrogen storage tank stores hydrogen gas compressed at extremely high pressure to increase driving range. FCVs look like conventional vehicles but use cutting edge technologies. The heart of the FCV is the fuel cell stack. The stack converts hydrogen gas stored on board with oxygen from the air into electricity, which powers the vehicle's electric motor. Now, let us see some of the different types of the electric vehicles available to us. On road electric vehicles. On road electric vehicles include electric car, electric trolley buses, electric bus, golf carts, milk floats, and e rickshaw. Railbone electric vehicle. The fixed nature of a rail line makes it relatively easy to power EVs through permanent overhead lines or electrified third rails, eliminating the need for heavy onboard batteries. Electric locomotives, electric multiple units, electric trams, electric light rail system, electric rapid transit are all in common use today, especially in Europe and Asia. Since electric trains do not need to carry a heavy internal combustion engine or large batteries, they can have a very good power to weight ratio. This allows high speed trains such as France's double deck TGVs to operate at a speed of 320 km per hour or higher and electric locomotive to have a much higher power out output than diesel locomotives. In addition, they have higher short-term surge power for fast acceleration and using regenerative brakes can put braking power back into the electrical grid rather than wasting it. Next, space rover vehicles. Men and unmanned vehicles have been used to explore the moon and other planets in the solar system. On the last three missions of the Apollo program in 1971 and 1972, astronauts drove silver oxide battery power roving vehicles distance up to 35.7 kilometers on the lunar surface. Unmanned solar powered rovers have explored the moon and Mars. Next, the airborne electric vehicles. Since the beginning of aviation, electric power for aircraft has received a great deal of experimentation. Currently, flying electric aircraft include manned and unmanned aerial vehicles. Next, seaborne electric vehicles. Electric boats were popular around the turn of 20th century. Interest in quiet and potentially renewable marine transportation has steadily increased since the late 20th century. As solar cells have given motorboats the infinite range of sailboats, electric motors can and have also been used in sailboats instead of traditional diesel engines. Electric ferries operate routinely. Submarines 
use batteries, nuclear power, fuel cells, or stirling engines to run electric motor driven propellers. Electrically powered spacecraft. Electric power has a long history of use in spacecraft. The power source used for spacecraft are batteries, solar panels, and nuclear power. Current method of propelling a spacecraft with electricity includes the arc jet rocket, the electrostatic iron thruster, the Hall effect thruster, a field emission electric propulsion. A number of other methods have been proposed with varying levels of feasibility. Next, hybrid vehicle. A vehicle is a hybrid if it utilizes more than one form of onboard energy to achieve propulsion. A hybrid will have a traditional internal combustion engine and a fuel tank, as well as one or more electric motor and battery pack. Hybrid system and diesel engine both represent extra cost. So far, Installing both in the same vehicle has proven to be prohibitively expensive. The motor coupled with generator is to generate electricity to recharge the battery as it absorbs a portion of the vehicle momentum when slowing or costing downhill. Normal car waste all of their excess momentum as heat in the brake. Regenerative braking is insufficient to stop a car quickly. So conventional hydraulic brakes are still necessary. Operating the vehicles on electric power along is possible if the hybrid system has enough electrical capacity. Plug-in hybrid began appearing in the market at the end of 2010. It provides a way to plug the battery into an electrical outlet for recharging while parked. The benefit of the plug-in hybrid is its ability to travel in all electric mode for most short trip, reserving the gasoline engine for the longer drive. More about hybrid electric vehicle. A mechanical drive in a hybrid electric vehicle consists of fuel tank, the combustion engine, the gearbox and transmission to the wheels. On the other hand, the electric vehicle drive consists of the battery, an electric motor and power electronics for control. The use of ultra capacitor has a high potential in the hybrid electric vehicles. They have the advantage of being a motor robust power device when compared to batteries. As an example, during regenerative braking, which is considered as a high power event. Hybrid electric vehicle is considered as the most industrially mature technology and has efficiency more than cars running out on petrol, diesel or CNG. So plug-in hybrid electric vehicles came into existence. Toyota Prius series is an example of hybrid electric vehicle technology. Astrolab is an example of hybrid solar vehicles. The main components of an electric vehicle. The electric vehicle drive system includes High voltage battery with control unit for battery regulation and charger, electric motor or generator with electronic control and cooling system, transmission including the differential brake system, high voltage air conditioning for vehicle interior climate control. Now let us talk about the advantages of electric vehicles. An electric car can be a great way for you as a consumer to save a lot of money on fuel. However, there are so many different reasons why you should invest in an electric car in the modern day of technology. The major advantage of the electric car is that no fuel is required. Electric cars are entirely charged by the electricity you provide meaning you don't need to buy any fuel ever again. Driving fuel-based cars can burn a hole in your pocket as prices of fuel have gone all-time high. Globally speaking, each person pays about 15 bucks a mile to drive a fuel-powered car, whereas many electric cars run on 5 bucks a mile. Electricity is largely less expensive than gasoline. If most people charge their cars in the garage, 
installing a few solar panels, that price can get cut even further, offering savings on powering our entire home. More convenient. The electric vehicle is easy to recharge. And the best part is you will no longer need to run to the full station to recharge your car before hitting the road. Even a normal household socket could be used for charging an electric car. No emissions. The biggest advantage of an electric vehicle is its green credential. Electric cars are 100% eco-friendly as they run on electrically powered engines. It does not emit toxic gases or smoke in the environment as it runs on a clean energy source. They are even better than hybrid cars as hybrids running on gas produce emissions. You will be contributing to a healthy and green climate. Popularity Electric vehicles are growing in popularity. It is nearly three times as efficient as car with an internal combustion engine, according to Wikipedia. With popularity comes all new types of car being put on the market that are unique you, providing you with a wealth of choices moving forward. Safe to drive. Electric cars undergo the same fitness and testing procedure test as other fuel-powered car. An electric car is safer to use given their low center of gravity, which makes them much more stable on the road in case of collision. In case an accident occurs, it's less likely to explode in the absence of any combustible fuel. Next, cost effective. Globally speaking, earlier, owning an electric car would cost a bomb. But with more te technological advancement, both cost and maintenance have gone down. The mass production of batteries and available tax incentives further brought down the cost, thus making it much more cost effective. Low maintenance. The electric cars run on electric motors and hence there is no need to lubricate the engines. Anything related to the combustion engine or a ton of maintenance tasks that are usually associated with a gas engine. Other expensive engine work is a thing of the past. Therefore, the maintenance cost of these cars has come down. You don't need to send it to the service station often, as you do for a standard gasoline-powered car. Reduced noise pollution Electric cars put a curb on noise pollution as they are much quieter. Electric motors can provide smooth drive with higher acceleration over longer distances. Many owners of electric cars have reported positive savings of up to tens of thousands of dollars a year. Easy driving. In the world of automobiles, electric cars have the simplest driving method. Commercial electric cars come with a transmission comprising of only one long gear and don't suffer from the stalling problem as petrol cars do. This effectively eliminates the need to add a clutch mechanism to prevent that from happening. Therefore, you can operate an electric car with just the accelerator pedal, brake pedal, and the steering wheel. Another useful feature is regenerative braking. In normal cars, the braking process is a total wastage of kinetic energy that gets released as frictional heat. However, in an electric vehicle, the same energy is used to charge the batteries. Considering the demand for oil will only be going up as the supplies run out, an electric car will most likely be the normal mode of transportation in the coming future. Companies like Nissan and Tesla offers great electric models with outstanding amount of benefits for people who decide to invest. 
Now, let us see some of the top selling highway capable all electric passenger cars produced between 2008 and December 2020. Tata Nexon market launch 2020 January with the annual sale of 4,000 units by March end 2021. Tesla Model 3 market launch 2017 July with a global annual sales of 3,65,000 units in the year 2020. Nissan Leaf market launch 2010 December with a global annual sales of 55,740 units in the year 2020. Tesla Model S market launch in June 2012 with global annual sale 28,000 units in the year 2019. Renault Joe market launch in December 2012 with global annual sale 1,2868 units in the year 2020. BMW i3 market launch in November 2013 with global annual sale 41,000 800 in the year 2019. Tesla Model X market launch in September 2015 with the global annual sale is 39,000 unit in the year of 2019. Volkswagen E-Golf market launch in June 2014 with the global annual sale is 36,016 unit in the year of 2019. Disadvantages of electric vehicle. We know that everything has both good and bad side. Till now, we discussed about advantages of electric vehicle. Now, we give a light on the disadvantages of electric vehicle. Electric vehicle has several kind of disadvantages like battery issues, pollution and high manufacturing cost. First of all, battery issues. In electric vehicle, the most important part is battery. Before knowing battery issues, we have to know what kind of battery is used in electric vehicle. Nowadays, in the electric vehicle, the most used battery is lithium ion battery. Lithium ion battery is made up with advanced PV acid, nickel metal hydroxide or lithium ion as a source of power. The lithium ion battery has many drawbacks like required protection, recycle problem, limited range and long recharge time, lifespan of battery, availability of charging stations. First, required protection. The biggest disadvantages of lithium ion battery is that they require protection from being overcharged and completely discharged. This is usually accomplished by adding protection circuit with the battery itself or in the device, which limits charge and discharge function to remain at optimal levels. Now, the recycle problem. The lithium ion batteries that have a very specific mix of chemical components and little quantities of lithium which doesn't make them an appealing market opportunity. For instance, in the EV market in 2011, only 5% of lithium was being collected and the rest was either incinerated or dumped in landfill. This specifically doesn't make electric cars greener at all, as it was not justified by price or regulation to recover it by hydrometallurgical process. With the large increase in battery power devices and vehicles, over the past 20 years, efforts have been made to determine ways to reduce or reuse the batteries and components. Older lead-acid battery recycling programs have been in the place for many years. The recycling rate for these batteries in the US alone is almost 99%. In part, due to existing laws and the existence of the infrastructure to collect the used batteries as part of the sale of replacements. The use of lithium-ion batteries is still relatively new 
and therefore the infrastructure is not yet in place to match the high success rate of lead acid batteries. It is possible to recycle many of the materials used in the electrode production with some studies showing nearly a 96% recovery rate for the copper used as a part of the batteries. A recent study on the economic viability of recycling lithium ion batteries found that while pyrometallurgical or hydrometallurgical recycling processes which reduce cells back to their elemental products do not show significant carbon emission advantage beyond the mere economic advantage of recycling process, direct material recycling where the positive electrode material is reconditioned for use in new batteries and which requires only a fraction of energy required by the metallurgical process has the potential to significantly reduce emissions. range and long recharge time. If you plan on traveling long distance electric vehicle, you may come across a lot of problems. For starters, the current electricity powered cars suffer from a serious usable range issue. On average, most have a usable range of about 400 to 450 kilometers from 100% they too when driven conservatively. In case you feel in case you feel like exploring and green inducing torque payload, the effective range is gone going further reduced. In comparison to petrol pumps, which are scattered across the country in large number, change uh, charge station of electric car are pretty much non-existent kindly. To further worsen the situation, the most electric cars take a good 6 to 10 hours to fully charge from 0%. So even the slightest miscalculation of distance and battery uses would very much get you standard in the middle of the road. Lifespan of battery. There are several factors that affect the health and lifespan of lithium ion batteries. The performance degradation of lithium ion batteries can be characterized by the loss of either capacity or power. Capacity is lost when the active material has been transformed into inactive phases as a result of parasitic chemical reactions. Though the issue is complicated and not straightforward to model from fundamental approaches, power is likewise reduced when parasitic reactions occur that convert battery materials to other compounds that act as transport barriers, increasing the cell's internal impedance and which in return reduces the operating voltage at each discharge rate. A recent report highlights the high correlation between capacity fit and energy efficiency of the cell presumably due to the low impedance of the solid electrolyte interface of the new cell and the rate at which this interface therefore changes. This section gives you some of the key issues that can affect the overall state of health of those batteries. Example, the ability to deliver power compared to a new pack and provides a review of several current research areas that helps addresses the issues. Availability of charging stations as electric vehicle travel range is limited, so there should be presence of charging stations with short range. But in India, it's almost impossible to extend the recharge stations infrastructure with short time. 
okay it will take near about 20 to 30 years so development of the electric vehicle in india is much slower than the other countries pollution caused by electric vehicles air pollution as electric vehicles use lithium ion batteries and no fuel is being burnt therefore no air pollution through co2 happens while driving but this is not a clear win for the electric movement if the source of energy to power these cars doesn't come from solar panels wind turbines or even nuclear or hydroelectricity their co2 emission will be much higher for instance if the electricity used to charge cars come from burning fossil fuel it doesn't matter if the electric car are not polluting while being driven as this pollution was already released in some distant power plant especially in india the 58 percent of the power plant is thermal power plant and 25 percent of the power comes from solar wind tide or nuclear power plant in such situation the widespread introduction of electric cars is only going to increase the overall electricity demand this could directly lead to an increase in the amount of coal to be burned to match up the demand unless the government decide to invest more in the clean sources so while the electric motor in the car doesn't create any emissions the same can't always be said for the source of electricity used to power it e-waste another drawback of this vehicle is waste of electronic parts is it not possible for every time to recycle the part like batteries electric motor wire etc so this remain as a waste which affect our involvement the next disadvantage is high manufacturing cost Currently, the EV market is extremely small in India. To extend the market, the main problem is cost, both manufacturing and maintaining. The parts of electric vehicles like battery, motor, charging circuit is very costly. If once the motor or battery have some problem, it has to be replaced. Then the maintaining cost is extremely high compared to combustion engine vehicle. electric vehicle and indian market setback in electric vehicle industry there are multiple companies that can bring the change currently government policies have a major role in indian electric vehicle industry lack of charging stations and no availability of space to create infrastructure for charging stations of electric vehicle not to mention that the range of electric current vehicle in India till date is very less. As a matter of fact, the distance range is not more than 110 km in full charge even for four-wheeler. It is of no use for intercity commute, making it appropriate to cover only short distances. Battery charging is another major concern as it takes four to six hours to fully charge the battery. To say nothing of quick charging, it also takes around 30 minutes to charge the battery up to 80%. Although the electric vehicle is a sustainable option, to set up initial infrastructure cost is much higher. In spite of high initial infrastructure cost, the benefit is long term. India is a country where the electric supply isn't available in every town, city or village. The electric vehicles in such cities would restrain the daily power need. Presently, big players like Lexus are offering hybrid technology in, in which a vehicle can run on 100% electric motor up to a speed of 
60 to 80 km per hour. And above that speed, the vehicle will switch to gasoline-powered motor. No doubt, this can answer a lot of concern faced in Indian electric vehicle industry. Consequently, this solution increases the manufacturing cost and eventually the cost of vehicle will increase to a greater extent when compared to only gasoline-powered motors. To shift the Indian consumers on electric vehicle, it should be made available at a cheaper price or to some extent at same price range as the gasoline-powered vehicles. As we conclude, we can say that electric vehicles has both positive and negative side. Economic standard of a country plays an important role in the development of electric vehicle and use of clean energy. Speaking from India's perspective, electric vehicles need a lot of development and research to make it eco-friendly. Before we end, we would like to show our heartfelt gratitude to our principal ma'am, Dr. Shuma Bandupadhyay, for giving us this opportunity to do this wonderful project, which, which gave us many invaluable knowledges. We would also like to extend our gratitude to the IQAC coordinator, Dr. Kuntal Chattopadhyay. We are thankful to our HOD and other professors for constantly guiding and leading us throughout this project. And last but not the least, we would like to thank all our friends and audience for bearing with us throughout this webinar. Hope you enjoyed this. Well done, students. Uh, it was a very interesting and engaging presentation. Um, now I would like to ask uh, from the audience if anyone has any question. Uh, so, Bulbo? Yeah. Are not electric car dangerous in an accident? Um, like conventional cars, electric cars also go through standard crash tests and with good results. Uh, batteries are not usually explosive in an accident and electric cars can operate without clutch or gearbox and it does not even need engine oil, which is usually an effective cause for explosions in car crash. Overall, I think they have much fewer components, which further reduces the likelihood of failure or accidents. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you drive and charge an electric car in the rain? Of course, you can drive or charge an electric car in the rain. You can drive through pedals safely and take it your electric vehicle through a car washer whenever you like. EVs are built for cope. Even if you get caught in flood, for example, Jaguar One Piece has a wedding depth of 500 millimeter and features safety system designed to deal with flood situation. Anyone else? Well, uh, I think there is no more questions. So congratulations again for your wonder, wonderful presentation. And from the praises at the chat box and from the number of audience, which was more than 100 throughout the presentation, we can see that how much interesting and engaging your presentation was. So I think everyone has really liked your effort. Now I would request Professor Susikta Das to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, Shama Shorov, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is my privilege to present the vote of thanks today. 
uh, first of all i'd like to thank express my sincere gratitude to our principal madam for her continuous support and encouragement for arrange such programs and provide platforms for our students i'm also thankful to to our iqac coordinator sir dr funtal chattopadhyay for his continuous support and encouragement thank you all my dear students and all the faculty member of our computer science family for giving this much of effort i am also very much thankful to all the other faculty members and students present in today's session to make it successful thank you all now uh, i think today's uh, session is end uh, so thank you all for joining us and have a good evening so can i leave uh, can we leave madam okay sure okay. thank you thank you all.